All right, we're back. Next step on the Zone Mortalis, I'm going to go through, I'm picking out uh, the computers, the computer terminals on all the tiles. There are 10 tiles with computer terminals on them. I think a couple of them have two computers each, uh, or as my wife likes to call them, microwaves, because they do in fact look like microwaves. Uh, I've already painted them all lead belcher. I didn't figure you guys needed to really see me paint lead belcher. Uh, so I've done that already. And then the next step, I'm just going to take good old fashioned Agrax Earthshade and we're going to um, paint that. Let me get some light on there for you. There we go. We're going to just paint that. We'll just wash it on there to um, corrode it up just a little bit, make it look a little bit less shiny. So I have not thinned this at all, it's straight out of the pot. And we're just making sure it gets in all the crevices to give it that worn, dirty look. That's it, super simple. Go through and do that and then we'll come back and hit the next step. Okay, computer terminal detail on the Zone Mortalis step two. We're gonna take some Ryza Rust. It's a dry paint, dryer paint. So it's much thicker, we're just gonna get some on our, I just have a small dry brush here. And there we go, we'll get it in focus in the center. I just have a piece of paper towel sitting here. I'm really just gonna scrub most of the paint off. So there's still some on there and then I'm gonna start lightly and just kind of feather it across. It should leave a kind of rusty look to the whole thing. What we're looking for is some pretty heavy rust to kind of match everything else so you see a little metal through. So start light, feathering it across there as it goes. If you want more, a little bit more rust look, push a little harder, some more of the paint will come off the bristles. You kind of want it around the edges and the, the flat panels, a little bit of rust here and there. And that's what we're looking for on that. Just a little bit faded, but you can still see the metal coming through. So it'll differentiate it a little bit from the rest of the worn rusty look, the corrosion. So go ahead and do that. Like I said, there's 10 tiles with these terminals. Two of the tiles will have two computers on it. This one, in fact. So it's got one here. And then if I remember correctly, it's also got one here out at the end. So those done and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, the next step on the computer terminals on the Zone Mortalis tiles, we're gonna uh, fill in the screen with a, a white or a light gray. Uh, I chose Ceramite White just because uh, it would cover well over the layers here. A lot of, a lot of color to, to cover up. Um, so really I'm just trying to get it in the screen. Make sure you have a brush with a decent tip on it so you can do the finer points. And I really, I just want this semi uh, semi rectangular shape filled in. Try obviously to keep it off the outer edges, the frame of the TV and I'll see if I can, how much of this I can do without blocking camera, but just getting it on there. Um, this is definitely a time when uh, a couple thin coats was probably going to be easier to deal with than maybe just glopping it on with a thicker coat. I have my paint thinned down fairly well. It could actually looks like it could use a little bit thinner, but so yeah, we're just really looking to get, like I said, that inner, the screen covered well. So that we can make it stand out just a little bit. So there you go, light gray or white, and we're just going to cover that screen, and that's it. That's all we're looking to do for this step. There's one more step on these, and then the screens, the monitors, the computers will be done. The terminals will be done. Okay, last step for picking out the detail on the monitors. We're going to hit them with uh, Weight Watcher Green. Just a glaze, and again, just over that white gray area that we painted, just the screen basically to give it kind of a, a, a glow. So this should dry a little bit shinier, although that won't matter a ton after we matte coat the whole thing. But it 
gives it just that little bit of pizzazz, a little something to jump out, make people take notice of the, the screens around those tiles. So that's it. That's all there is to the last step there.